the American flag is an iconic symbol around the world and evokes a lot of emotions here at home, a new book called Flags Across America celebrates the flag through the eyes of everyday people all across the country, from athletes to artists, from the heartland to outer space. <coughs> the book shares stories and dreams. Here to tell us more are the co-authors, Karen Robbins from Gig Harbor and also Dale Baskin from Seattle. Thank you both for being with us. Thank you. It's a beautiful book. It's an absolutely beautiful book. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've Thank got this you. cold that won't let go of me. <laughs> How did you decide to do a book on this particular subject? Well, actually, uh, we were both, um, you know, photographing American flags, unique ones, very, very special ones. I didn't know why, but sometimes I'd have to turn around in my car and go back and just take it. I really didn't know why, but then it was um, meeting Dale Baskin at the Seattle Mountaineers. Um, uh, and right here in Seattle, and, and it was in the month of September, and we just... Um, and you it, were similarly obsessed yeah, with Yeah, I, I had started photographing American flags after 9-11. I had mm -hmm. lived in New York, and after mm -hmm. the events of 9-11, I was looking for something inspirational that wasn't so depressing, and I noticed all over New York City there were American flags there everywhere. Were, yes. So if, about 10 years later, I was giving a presentation about this, and Karen basically accosted me afterwards. <laughs> and said, Surely. I love flags too, do you want to do a book? And that was pretty and much the start. Yeah. So you went across the country, what were you after? Well, we didn't really walk across the country. Uh, we really started with the Seattle Mountaineer photo photo photographers, and that was so huge, and uh, to get their support. And then it just seems my, my, you know, our friends, would, they knew about our book and our project, and they had friends, and they, they knew great stories, and a lot of people just kept reconnecting us. and like. Uh, with people all over the country. Well, and let's give people an idea of some of the stories mm -hmm. so that they can understand yeah. what's in the book. Um, these are some local ones. Evergreen Primary School, can you tell us about oh, that? Oh, that's so special because uh, that's right in University Place. And okay. I had created this Hands Across America uh, flag back in 1991 and uh, for a book uh, big bulletin boards a cooperative approach but we need we felt we was so special we wanted to recreate it again so I have a friend Jane Adams who was a counselor and we went to Evergreen Primary School and University Place and we uh, worked for a whole week in this portable and had every um, child and staff member and faculty make one handprint um, on this large uh, sheet of canvas and that's how we created um, Hands Across America Flag. Look at that, how big and it this is, is uh, Lieutenant Colonel Garner. Um, Garner Thomas. Garner yes. Thomas and his uh, granddaughter Jada, who are on the cover. And uh, we hadn't, you know, planned for that to be the cover, but it just seemed like out of all 354 photos that we have in the book, this is the best picture. Let's talk about Vashon Island American Hero Quilts. Yeah, th this is a group that I was really excited to photograph myself. It's a group on Vashon Island that a few years after 9-11, when veterans started coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan, uh, they wanted to do something to welcome the troops, to make mm -hmm. them feel like they were receiving a metaphorical hug from the American people. And um, this group on Vashon Island organized a quiltathon to create quilts to give to returning wounded warriors. And on that first day, they created about 100 quilts. That's amazing. Took them, <laughs> yeah, 100 quilts seems like a lot, but they took them over to Madigan Army Hospital thinking, mission accomplished, right? We're done. We've done something good. The first question they apparently got was, when are you coming back? <laughs> and so they leveraged the internet, started utilizing people all over the country, even people in different countries that wanted to support our troops. And to date, they've delivered over 40,000 American That's flag amazing. quilts. Because mm -hmm. every quilt one of them individual. <laughs> I mean, quilts are not something you just bang no. out. That takes some time. Everyone That's really is different. Amazing. Yeah. All right, tell me about Pleasant Grove, Utah, and follow the flag. Oh, that's a beautiful story, but actually I'm going to let Dale tell okay. you about well, that. <laughs> so there's a group in Look Pleasant Grove. Picture. Yes, oh. this, this is an example of how big this flag is. Uh, basically, the entire town gets around this project to put a giant American flag across Grove Creek Canyon, which is nearby the town of Pleasant Grove. And the flag that they're using today is about 150 feet on one side. So this flag goes through a procession through the entire town. It's essentially a parade that everybody participates in. And then a couple troops of Boy Scouts take this flag up 
and string it across the canyon, light it up Great. with a light. And they say at night you can see it from 50 miles away. <laughs> and so this amazing. is a really big deal in this part of Utah. I mean, such an unusual look, but it also kind of calls back to ancient times. For as soon as people could have fabrics, we'd use colors and flags to denote you know, a sense of belonging or identification. So this is kind of a deeply yes. human thing to relate to the flag, right? Absolutely. Did anything surprise you about the way people responded? I was really surprised at how everyone seems to be so touched. You know, they they were said we'd, they'd be honored to have their photos, uh, their flag photos, and, their, and then wrote inspiring stories um, on the American flag. And they just wanted to be a part of it. And to think that it just started with Dale and I, and then it's just grown bigger and bigger, and it's been a five-year project, and it just seemed like uh, people just get, we kept collecting more uh, wonderful Americans, um, prisoner of war from Vietnam, a Tuskegee Airman, a Doolittle Raiders. And these are all st uh, total so strangers, total strangers. And I hear I call them or email them and call them. And I'm a stranger, they're strangers, but they w they just want to be a part of this book. I think people want to have a sense of belonging at this point. Yes. Things feel so soulless at times. Those right. things that draw us together yes. have a lot of appeal. Thank you very much. It's a beautiful book. Sorry Thank about you. my voice. <laughs> I apologize. Flags Across America will be available to purchase in bookstores and online on April 28th to pre-order a copy. We have links on our website. Please go take a look. It's a wonderfully inspiring book. Coming up, how it's possible to make dreams for a perfect prom come true wow. even on on a budget. We'll be right back. <laughs>